Aloha, Patrick Franti here with Sloan Allison. We just wanted to hop on and um, bring a couple updates. Um, real quick, I think we, we wanted to address up front, you know, I know there's been a lot of misinformation floating out there on travel. Um, we wanted to make that very clear to all our clients and friends and, and people that are thinking of coming out here anytime in the near term. Um, please don't cancel your trip. Please continue as scheduled. Um, you know, I, I know initially there was a lot of talk of don't come here, don't travel here. Um, that, you know, has created a virtual shutdown of the economy. You know, everything is very slow here. There's a lot of um, our acquaintances, friends, contacts and hospitality and, and everything is very slow. Um, it is starting to slowly pick back up obviously on all parts of the island except for West Maui that is still closed but plenty of island to enjoy and explore um, outside of that and we do need those travel numbers to come back um, just to stimulate you know keep things running right so yeah the, uh, the, there's several on. yeah there's there's several airlines too that are um, offering programs of you know I saw Alaska Air was offering up to 40 percent off tickets to yeah. Hawaii so um definitely take advantage of some of those programs and um if if you need need help getting you know access to those or, or finding deals just just let us know and we'll we'll be happy to um to help you yeah no absolutely there's there's some smoke and airfare deals right now i mean we're i'm looking at round trip from the west coast right now and it's like 250 dollars so Definitely some deals. Um, please do continue as planned on your trips. And, you know, if you're looking for, um, you know, a quick getaway, pop on over. Um, you know, Maui is still a, an absolutely amazing place to come to. Um, we wanted to also circle back on a few different ways, you know, you can support the efforts going on here. Um, you know, initially we needed a lot of supplies, a lot of donations. That has definitely settled down. A lot of those needs were met. Um, right now, you know, monetary donations are going to make, you know, be the most effective. Um, we feel there's a, you know, there's a couple that, you know, we, have, we are either spearheading as a team, such as the fund that Sloan is um, spearheading. And, you know, we've got a, another organization, the Mackay Foundation that we're aligned with um, that, you know, we're, we're going to talk a little more about, but also, you know, getting money directly to the families affected um you know via the ohana lahaina ohana venmo account um that's an instagram account that has individual families that's a great place to go um there's also a gofundme that we're going to link below that is sort of like a crowdfund structure so you can give to one gofundme and it will be distributed equally distributed equally between all the families that are registered with that account so that's you know kind of a innovative structure um and it's very effective at getting money directly to those who need it um sloan why don't you jump in and, and tell us a little bit about what you got going yeah so um i've actually been fortunate enough to partner with the maui preparatory academy um it's the the small private school in the Pili. and as everyone can imagine you know displaced students need a place to go to school with the public schools kind of in limbo on when they're going to be opening. I know they they the DOE got in there a weeks ago. And most of the three schools, the structures seem to be okay, but there's no real um, firm timeline on when they're going to be able to go back to school. And so um, what my prep is doing is they are taking in as many uh, students as they possibly can. Um, in those first four or five days after the fire, um, they had well over a thousand applicants which is just outrageous and um and so they, they you know all, all sorts of things in, in order to support uh the influx of students that they can um, number one being you know student tuition um that's the main one is is getting getting money into the school for these kids to, to take classes to pay the teachers to the infrastructure for the classes um things like that um that's like i said they need infrastructure and then um, what our fund is going to do is help pay for students' tuition 
And then a portion is also going to go to their music and arts program, which um, I know music is is very near and dear to mine and and um, and I know your heart too, Pat. And so, um, you know, it can be an amazing, amazing tool to, to help heal um, young people's hearts as, as well as the community as a whole. Absolutely. No, education, uh, definitely one of the most important things that we need to help facilitate right now. Um, you know, these kids have been obviously just, you know, dramatically affected in their day to day lives and getting them back into school and into a good environment is, is, is a huge priority. So that's, that's great work, Sloan. Um, you know, another, um, you know, cause that we're, we're getting behind, we're actually aligned with is the Mackay, Mackay Foundation. Um, you can read more about them at MackayFoundation.org. But um, really, in essence, the goal there is to raise money to directly assist the Lahaina families that have been displaced in getting back onto their property and getting rebuilt and you know being able to further their lives um, as they were prior to this disaster. Um, there's a huge number of variables that are go into this rebuilding effort. Um, you know, obviously you have all the insurance variables, um, permitting, timelines, you know, the cleanup, you know, the, the time we expect for this cleanup and rebuild to happen is gonna be years. And, you know, helping these families to be able to continue, um, you know, being able to handle their living costs and their cost to carry these properties um until they can rebuild and live on it is is going to be a huge burden on them and that's something that we really want to help with um you know so that's that's a phenomenal cause that you know we're happy to be aligned with some other um you know great business owners here on maui and um yeah we'll, we'll include a link below to that as well um we, and we we really appreciate the help we we talk about it you know, I know you and I talk about it all the time and, and I, we talk about it with, you know, whoever we talk to about this entire situation, but the longevity that that's really going to be needed with, um, with money and resources, um, just this whole process is going to, you know, it's, it's going to be a three, five, probably 10 year process and having resources that are built to last like that. Um, that's, that's my favorite thing about the Mackay Foundation. I yeah. Yeah. Crucial, crucial element to focus on. Um, you know, and we also wanted to touch on, uh, you know, another great thing that a team member of ours, Sally Aldrin, has been involved with. Um, they've got a phenomenal resource fair going on at the Maui Botanical Garden this week. Um, so a huge problem, you know, for a lot of these affected families has been, you know, just getting in front of a trusted resource um, to help kind of walk them through the process and answer questions and you know, help facilitate anything they need to kind of move forward, fill out the proper paperwork, apply for the proper assistance, et cetera. Um, so um, there's, you know, a group of attorneys there. There's, they've got legal aid, they've got financial assistance advisors. Um, you know, they've even got childcare going on. So if the family goes over there, you know, you can watch the KK. I know um, Maui Rapid Response has been spearheading this. They're a phenomenal organization. Um, friend of ours, Kano Hokagio, has been um, just a tremendous local asset here in the community, and he's been, um, you know, helping run Maui Rapid Response. Um, you know, so this is phenomenal um, place. It's just just a resource, and you know, they've even got things like you know, you can get your hair cut there, get a Lomi Lomi massage. So they've, you know, they're they're really trying to kind of do something a little different and you know this week um it's running all week i think it's you know 10 to 2 10 to 3 each day again maui new botanical gardens um and running through saturday i believe so we'll we'll post a link to that as well great resource thank you yeah, Sally. Big, yeah big shout out to sally she's kind of been spearheading um information for stuff you know the past couple of weeks i know she she put together that that packet of resources from those attorneys that that was a big yeah. help to, to at least some of Phenomenal. my contacts and um yeah, oh, yeah. thanks thanks Ali. yeah so i think that's all we got for now um but we'll uh we'll keep you updated anything new aloha <laughs>